now on WRDE Coast TV. This empty field in Milton could soon have hundreds of homes in its place, why the community is pushing back on this development. Attempting to bring more affordable housing to Lewis, how the city is strategizing to make a certain type of home available. While the sunshine is sticking around until we get to the weekend, a bit of irony, right? But there's another twist to the forecasting tale that you must hear, so stick around. From the air with our coast copter, this neighborhood in Millsboro called Plantation Lakes, going through some parking issues, how neighbors are fighting against the parking predicament. From the beaches to the bays, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News at 6 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with breaking news. The U.S. House of Representatives voted Tuesday to oust Kevin McCarthy as speaker in a vote of 216 to 210. Eight Republicans voted to remove him along with a majority of Democrats. It's a historic moment as no House speaker has ever been ousted through the passage of a resolution to remove them. Before the final vote, the House failed to table or block that effort. On Monday, Congressman Matt Gates offered the motion to vacate the chair. Conservatives booted McCarthy over relying on Democratic votes, as he did to advance legislation which staved off a government shutdown on Saturday. The House will have to elect a new speaker, but it will be a challenge for anyone to gain enough support among both parties to win the gavel. Congressman Patrick McHenry has been named interim speaker. Well, neighbors have voiced multiple concerns for a development called Twin Masts. Coast TV News reporter Charles Reinert is live in Milton. Charles, you're at the proposed spot right now. Maddie and Charlie, I'm standing next to right, right next to what is just seemingly another field here in Milton, but it's actually the center of some pretty significant debate with neighbors and developers. This land here you can see from above is about is the proposed land for about 250 houses right off of Round Pole Bridge Road and Hudson Road right outside of Milton. Multiple neighbors have gone to the Sussex County Planning and Zoning Commission with numerous concerns from more traffic here on a rather awkward and windy Round Pole Bridge Road to its close proximity to Hudson Fields Airport and it being an emergency landing zone for planes. In fact, he just heard one come over our head just a couple of seconds ago. One neighbor said today that his biggest safety con biggest concern was safety. I don't know what they could even do to it to make uh, that safe for the kind of traffic that we would get out of 244 new homes. We reached out to the developer today multiple times and haven't heard anything back at this time. I'm Charles Reiner live in Milton, Coast TV News. Thank you, Charles. Well, other developments in Milton have also been opposed by the community. One is the proposed McDonald's at the corner of Route 16 and Union Street Extended. Many people said it was out of place, also was going to cause traffic. Well, preliminary site plan approval allowed McDonald's to move to the final site plan review with conditions related to traffic. Now, the city wants the restaurant to enforce that before final approval is granted. Another project is the Royal Farms to be built off of Route 16 and Cedar Creek Road. There was community pushback there due to people working at that Royal Farms, worrying it would bring more traffic and trash to the area. The town says construction of that project will begin this fall. Another special event zone is in place in Ocean City. The Endless Summer Cruising event takes place this weekend, and the town wants to keep people safe as thousands of cars are predicted to attend. A store owner in Ocean City explains why extreme speeding and reckless driving regulations, they are necessary. It's for safety of the people and uh, kids, of course, families, and it keeps the town safer, especially when there's a lot of people around the town. All speed limits in town are reduced to just 30 miles per hour, and those fines are increased. Police could arrest violators for reckless driving the special event zone will end on October 8th. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, do you think that the OC special event zone is needed? Let's take a look at what has been an up and down poll so far. So far, 76% say yes, 24% say no. Those numbers have changed each time we've looked at this poll. So if you haven't voted yet, you can do that on WRDE.com or our mobile app. And we will have updated results on Coast TV News at 11. The first town in the first state is looking for innovative ideas to solve its affordable housing problem. Coast TV News anchor Mallory Metzner is in the newsroom. Plans to add different types of affordable housing are taking shape. 
There's no set time for when we could see tiny homes in town, but now we know what they may look like. According to the Lewis Planning Commission Housing Subcommittee's presentation at Thursday night's Marin City Council workshop, the accessory dwelling units up for discussion would be on the same lot as a primary house like you see in this graphic. They could be detached or a converted garage, basement or attic with a separate bedroom, bathroom and kitchen. Separate ADUs would be limited to 900 square feet and one and a half stories. The property would be required to have at least two off street parking spaces and rent could be in the 800 to $1200 per month range. The Historic Preservation Architectural Review Commission would review any in the historic district. Now, according to the Housing Subcommittee's presentation, these accessory dwelling units would be by right in a residential zoning district, but that would not include mobile homes or where HOAs or deeds would restrict them. The next steps include the Lewis Planning Commission's meeting on October 18th. Back to you. A teacher at the Howard T. Ennis School was arrested after a three-year-old student with a developmental delay was left at the playground unattended for hours. Delaware State Police say the student was left September 18th after several children ran away as the teacher was trying to line the students up to leave after recess. Troopers say that student hid under a piece of playground equipment while everybody left. They say the student was only found hours later when the mother called the school to alert them that her child didn't come home on the bus. The Indian River School District sent a statement to Coast TV News saying, quote, the district immediately initiated an investigation and is currently working with the family to resolve this matter. The teacher has been charged with a misdemeanor and is off work without pay. The intersection of Bay Road and South, southbound Tub Mill Pond Road in Milford was closed today. That was due to a crash, according to Delaware State Police. Police say troopers were called for an overturned dump truck that was loaded with gravel. That was around 8.06 a.m. Troopers say there were no other cars. This is a developing story. Coast TV News will provide an update as more of that information becomes available. We're taking a live look now into Laurel from our Tyndall's casual furniture camera. Just absolutely gorgeous out there tonight. Our first alert chief meteorologist Paul Williams joins us now with a look at our forecast. Good evening, Paul. Good evening to you, Maddie. And you know, the whole deal is this. No matter which direction you point a live camera, today is just an absolutely nice day to hang out and be around. I mean, even in Rehoboth Beach, although the waves are still coming in just a little bit on the, on the fast side, but nothing close to the aggressiveness in the err that it has been from like last week and all of that. Now, of, of course, we're looking for it to continue to stay very cooperative for us. When you take a look at the wind speeds, I mean, look, we're looking at calm winds, for example, in Lewis, four mile per hour winds in Rehoboth and in Bethany Beach, seven mile per hour wind gust force uh, and at the uh, Indian, River, every Indian River Inlet. And then Millsboro, we're looking at about nine. As far as the future gusts are concerned, I don't see much of a change here happening. We get to Thursday, we're still looking at winds coming out of the east. And then for today's high, we got a chance to warm to about 81 degrees in Georgetown and in Salisbury. So it's been a sunny kind of a day. Temperatures have been trending up. Will they continue to trend upward or are we looking for a big time pit stop? That's what we'll unlock with that mystery in the forecast coming up in a moment. Till then, back to you. Thank you. Millions of phones across the country will get an alarm tomorrow as part of a national test of the wireless emergency alerts and emergency alert system. According to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the tests should take place around 2.20 p.m. FEMA says cell phones on and within range of an active cell tower for all major wireless providers should get those test alerts. Now, as long as your phones are on, even on vibrate, an alarm should still sound when the alert is received. It's important to note these are the types of alerts that many people said they did not get after that deadly tornado in April. So it's something that many viewers have on top of their mind again, and that is happening 2.20 p.m. tomorrow. The city of Rehoboth Beach will meet again this Friday to discuss the potential alteration of a portion of Baltimore Avenue. This meeting relates to the construction of a new Rehoboth Beach patrol building that will replace the current one that you see on your screen right now. The proposed reconstruction is expected to bring a two-story building with accessible public facilities at Baltimore Avenue. The commissioners will meet at City Hall. That's at 2 p.m. This large neighborhood in Millsboro has a parking predicament. Even though it's a development, the streets are public. The town is considering preliminary plans to make parking along some of those roads illegal, citing safety concerns. 
Coast TV News reporter Britt Leone takes us to Millsboro to hear why some people in the community want the town to reevaluate. Ken Christenbury lives in a single family home in Plantation Lakes of Millsboro. He's not happy about a plan the town is working on that would make parking on his street illegal, like it is in the area of the neighborhood with townhomes. We believe you're assaulting our property values. We live here, this is our home. This is a hill we will die on. So much so that he created a petition against it, gaining 539 signatures from neighbors who were also opposed, saying the single family homes should be treated differently than the townhomes. This community, which has a fraction of the traffic, much wider property, so me parking on the curb between my, my driveway and my neighbor's driveway isn't creating an obstruction, and the townhomes, the driveways are too close. Where I'm standing right now is Lumberton Drive of the neighborhood, which only houses single family homes. As you can see around me, there's not many cars or congestion. According to a Millsboro Police Department report that shows parking complaints from 2019 to 2023, the Plantation Lakes neighborhood had 32 complaints within that five year period. Of those 32, only five complaints were made from people in single family homes on streets like this. A contentious issue a with an undecided fate. Town manager Jamie Burke tells me the town is trying to delineate parking in the neighborhood so that people have safe spots to put their cars. He also says police won't be getting out illegal parking citations in the single family home section of the neighborhood until a plan is set in place, which could be for a while as these are just preliminary plans right now. He also says the next parking committee meeting is on October 11th and the public will be able to comment at that meeting. In Millsboro, I'm Britt Leone, Coast TV News. We have a lot more news to get to this evening. Fall is known as lantern fly season. Tips the Department of Agriculture has for you to stop these destructive invasive species from spreading. And it's uncanny and it's uncanny rather how little sunshine can make you and improve your mood. Well, that that's the case for you. It looks like we're going to be in a good mood at least until the weekend rolls around. But first, bringing out groceries to those in need in Milford. How a local pantry needs your help serving the community. We'll be back in just 60 seconds. Now at Hardee's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose one of five flavors for endless combinations, including new Nashville Hot. Two wraps, just $5. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. The American black duck is an iconic species well known throughout the Delmarva Peninsula. Although the population is currently stable, they're well below their population goals and they're considered a species of concern. The USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service looks to increase and restore black duck habitat throughout the Delmarva Peninsula. I utilize the Working Lands for Wildlife program to help transform a low-lying wet area into waterfowl habitat. To learn more about the Working Lands for Wildlife program, contact your local USDA service center. Make dinner good tonight with Hardy's new chicken tender platters. Crunchy, juicy tenders all dipped in buttermilk and hand breaded. With a thick slice of garlicky Texas toast, seasoned crinkle fries, slaw, and choice of sauce. Hardy's goodness in the making. Out bags of groceries and essentials to those in need, but running low on the helpers needed to do it. A local pantry pleas for volunteers to help that growing need. Coast TV News reporter Tori Seagraves shows us how more volunteers could help and who the pantry is helping. Lore Cisneros comes to the Milford Community Pantry for some groceries. She relies on help from the pantry since she adopted five-year-old Bella four years ago when she says Bella's mother, addicted to drugs, left the baby with her. Cisneros says getting Bella school supplies and clothes is expensive, making her rely on these food donations even more so. She's in the school and I get, you know, the, the shoes and the clothes from the second uh, him, but I don't care. I say she needs to, she needs to love, somebody love her. The families the pantry has helped have doubled since before the pandemic and has handed out about $43,000 worth of food so far this year. The director of inventory says more volunteers are needed to help the growing community. Right now we're only open two days a week, but we could go to three. Um, the other thing we've talked about is having evening hours for those families that can't get here during the day because they are working, but they still need the food. And it's not just volunteers, they need supplies. She says the pantry was out of tapped canned soup 
So she went a step further to help a hungry homeless man. I said to him, Beth, I can give you a can opener. And he cried. We don't know how lucky we are, how truly blessed we are to have what we have. The pantry mostly relies on donations from the Milford Lions Club, collections from 11 churches in the area, and the public. The Milford Community Pantry is open here at the Avenue Methodist Church on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 to 2. They're always looking for donations of non-perishables on top of volunteers. I'm Tori Seagraves in Milford, Coast TV News. A live view of the waves on the beach shows us all that we need to know with high pressure taking over our forecast at the helm. But with this forecast, ship will set sail for some more choppy meteorological waters in the week this weekend. I'll kind of show you more what means we migrate through the full forecast. Coastal Comfort is your premier carrier factory authorized dealer. That means not only do you receive the highest quality product, you also receive the biggest savings. With purchase of a qualified carrier system, you could get back up to $1,550 instantly with carrier cool cash. And you could also qualify for up to $2,000 federal tax credit. Call us today while the savings are hot. Coastal Comfort, we're the experts because we earned it. Coastal Comfort, a carrier factory authorized dealer serving Maryland and Delaware. Carrier, turn to the experts. With Food Lion Feeds, I get to give back in ways I never imagined. What are you doing? I'm picking tomatoes. From growing fresh produce for our neighbors in need, to remodeling local pantries so we can help even more people. But my favorite thing hey, hey, is delivering hot meals to make Miss Baker's day. Here to fill tables and hearts with hope, Food Lion Feeds, here for every moment. Sixteen years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high-quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County, and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. On Coast Life, step into the heart of the Redbird Legacy Foundation's mission. Salute the selfless dedication of a Sussex County community beacon and set the Halloween mood with DIY spiderweb placemats tomorrow on Coast TV. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, Tay Diggs is in the house. Do you consider yourself like handsome? No, I'm just kidding. Wednesday at 2 on Coast TV. When it comes to building Delaware, I set my sights high. When duty calls, I answer. No reservations. And no compromises. Creating the perfect dish takes expert precision. I help solve the most complex problems. And while it may seem like our jobs are all over the map, they all started at Dell Tech. The Today Show, weekdays at 7 on Coast TV. Well, you know, when you have gorgeous weather, I tend to have a few more friends. But when it turns ugly, folks look at me side eye. Just like that. Just like that. Well, looks like I'm going to have some more friends for the next couple of days. Hey, look, courtesy of our tunnel and razor camera, it's gorgeous weather. We're not concerned about very gusty winds. You can go ahead and take your vessel out on the water. Not even a small craft advisory is active for our immediate area. That's to our south here and out of the way high pressure and control of our weather so that's why we had the gorgeous blue skyline and we're going to have that again for tomorrow the uv index is going to be at a six although we're expecting bright sunshine you got to remember it's fall tilt to the earth not direct sunshine so the uv index even though it's clear not quite as high our dry tech camera also showing the calm waters and the beautiful uh, sunset and the winds are moving out of only about five miles per hour. And it continues to stay really nice in most locations, to be quite honest, for us. It feels like 70 degrees in Rehoboth, 71 in Lewis, but it's a little warm and red at about 82. I think that's an anomaly there. Everybody else is in the 70s, so that might be a little hiccup with the thermometer reading, but that's okay. Fishing forecast. Listen, if you like doing that late night fishing with a clear skyline, this is your night to do it. 
8 o'clock, 66 degrees, 65 at 9 o'clock, 62 at 11 o'clock, and clear skies for the overnight period. In fact, speaking of the overnight, we're going to fall eventually into the 50s, 53 in Georgetown and Millsboro, 55 in Seaford. If you're over in the Cambridge or Vienna area, about 57 degrees, yeah, that should just about do it. 55 for the overnight low in Berlin and Snow Hill, 59 in Ocean City. For tomorrow morning, we are expecting temps in the 60s along the coast, 50 inland, but clear skies for everybody. By the afternoon, we're near 80 degrees for us, or slightly above it. Seaford 82, Del Mar 82, Millsboro 81. Thursday, we start off the same way. Open up a big old box of sunshine and enjoying it. Thursday afternoon, still pretty much sunny for everybody. Just not, you know, we'll see a few scattered clouds start sliding along Highway 16 and 30, 13, but it shouldn't be a problem. Now, our sneeze cast. A bit on the high side with the ragweeds, okay? Still low for trees and cut grass. But our future wind gust, well, it's going to change dramatically by the time we get to Sunday going in, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that means when this cold front begins to pull through on Saturday, we'll see scattered showers gathering up. And then when it pulls through for Sunday, that's when the cool conditions will settle in and drop that temps into the 40s. Here's a look at your Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling extended forecast. Mild, mild, wet wet and then cold in the morning cold in the morning cold in the morning back to you paul fall marks lanternfly season and it is important to know what to do if you spot one to prevent large quantities of lanternflies hatching in the spring it is important to check for eggs masses and destroy them if you find egg mass use a stiff card or putty knife to scrape the mass into a disposable bag this will ensure the eggs are destroyed and add rubbing alcohol or alcohol-based hand sanitizer those are good options then seal the bag or container and discard it bb healthcare has announced the opening of the new bb center for breast health on monday october 2nd the new location opened on the rehoboth health campus Patients have access to timely appointments, breast surgeons, nurse navigators, medical and radiation oncologists, diagnostic imaging and lab, social services, that it's all on the Rehoboth Health Campus. The holiday season will be here before you know it, and that means the return of Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign through generous donations from businesses and individuals. We do our best to make sure every child has a present to open Christmas morning, we do that by supporting nonprofits that handpick families in need. It's groups like the Boys and Girls Club. Applications for nonprofits like that are now open, but they are due by October 31st. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. What's going on, sports fans? It is Red October, and it all gets started tonight in the city of brotherly love. The Phillies host the Marlins. In game one of the NL Wild Card Series, the Phils return after winning the National League pennant a season ago. On the flip side, the Marlins have not made the playoffs since 2003 when they won the World Series. This season, Miami is 7-6 and six against the Phils. The last time these two teams met, the Marlins took the series at Citizens Bank. First pitch from Philly is at 8.08 on ESPN. Jesus Lazardo on the mound versus Zach Wheeler for the fight in switching gears tonight on DSN. We've got action on the courts between Kent Island and the North Dorchester Eagles. The Buccaneers are 6-0 on the year. This team won in straight sets against the Eagles last time they played each other. And Kent Island has not lost a set this season. And that means that North Dorchester is out for revenge. The Eagles are 4-4 four and, four and have gone 15-2 and 16-1 and in their last two seasons. But this year is the first time they are in the Bayside North Division. Another test for the Eagles at home to make a statement in the Bayside North. We will have highlights of this game and more on the final score tonight at 10.30 p.m. only on the Delmarva Sports Network. Out over sports. Have a great night, everybody. Welcome the new season with a deep cleaning by Stanley Steamer. Our certified technicians will renew your carpets, air ducts, upholstery, tile floors, and more, clearing away the dust and debris. We clean using powerful proprietary equipment and family safe cleaning solutions to leave your space looking and feeling fresh. Call or go online to schedule your professional cleaning with Stanley Steamer today.
Looking for a convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness. You know it. Now through October 13th, you can join for just $1 down, $10 a month. We've got over 2,400 locations with most open 24 hours. Join now to enjoy free fitness training and equipment for every workout. Whether you're new to a gym or a fitness pro, the Judgment Free Zone is the place for you. Join Planet Fitness today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. Cancel any time. Deal ends October 13th. Oh, yeah, that's the energy. Do you have ugly black? Black streaks of algae and mold on your roof? It's often worse in the fall and could be a sign of a bigger problem. Like trap moisture or improper ventilation. Your roof could actually be missing crucial components. Call All Exteriors. They have same day appointments available to do a thorough roof inspection and give you a quote on the spot. Plus, extended for October, get leaf relief gutter guards free or $1,000 off or payments as low as $99 a month. Call All Exteriors for your free roof inspection today. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. Del Marva's hit music station, 1025 WBOC. Cap off the season with the four best days of fall at Sunfest. Experience the ultimate celebration of food, drinks, arts, crafts, and entertainment along the boards from October 19th to the 22nd. Embrace fall with a variety of fun activities, including beach bonfires, corn maze, tractor rides, and pet and bicycle events. Shop around over 200 arts and crafts vendors. Immerse yourself in music with an incredible lineup of free musical performances. Enjoy free family fun all day. Visit Oceocean.com Sunfest for more. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. Take a look at your exclusive Coast TV 10-day forecast. Sunshine for Wednesday and Thursday, 50% chance of rain for Friday and Saturday. But then by the time we get into next week, we will fall into the 40s. Paul, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news and more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 11. Have a great evening.